High-quality 3D models are a key to successful Blender project. They not only make your life easier, but enable you to focus on the creative side of things. However, importing the pre-made 3D models to Blender and organizing the assets library may be much more tedious than you think. That's why we've created the Chocofer Model Manager. Chocofer Model Manager is a completely free, easy-to-use add-on that allows you to quickly import external 3D assets to your Blender scenes. The add-on comes with over 300 completely free Blender models and materials created by Chocofur. In this video I'll guide you through the entire installation process and explain how to add our free assets to your models library. So without a further ado, let's just jump into it. Let's first download the add-in. Go to the Chocofer store at store.chocofer.com and choose the add-ins category in the upper menu. Now select the Chocofer model manager for Blender 2.80 and if you have the Chocofer store account you should be able to download the add-in right away. If you don't, you might just consider creating one because you're also going to need it to download the free models. Let's now jump to Blender and install the add-on. To do that, we have to go to the Edit and Preferences here. With the add-on selected on the left, let's hit the Install button and choose the zip file we just downloaded. I'm clicking Install again and within a second we will see the Chocofer Model Manager visible here. Let's enable it and expand the menu. So, as for now, I would only check if the add-on is up to date. By clicking this button here, you make sure you have all of the latest versions installed. And I'm going to click here to close the menu. Now within the 3D viewport, when I press the N key, you can see this tab appearing on the right. And here you have the Chocofer Model Manager. When I click it, we only have the very basic options available. And that means we still need to configure and set up the library. So let's do it right now. Let's visit the Chocofor store again and navigate to the free section of the website. Here you are able to download all of the assets that are available for free, but I'm going to focus on the four bundles you can see on top. It's the accessories, details, furniture and shader bundles. Let's just download all of them. If you're logged into your Chocofor store account, just by hovering your mouse cursor, you should be able to click the download button. I will now create a new folder and call it Chocofor Library. And I'm going to move all of the downloaded zip files here. Let's now select the zip files and extract them directly into the Chocofor Library folder. And with that you can see new folders being created. These are the folders that will create the categories of our Chocofor Library. Chocofor Model Managers uses very easy to maintain library structure. This is the folder we'll have to point inside Blender for our Model Manager. If we go inside, here you can see the main categories. If we get into one of the folders, you can see the subcategories. And each subcategory contains the Blend files, the Renders folder, and the maps folder. We also have the OBJ folder, which includes a different file format if you want to use Chocofor models in any other 3D application, but this folder is ignored by the model manager and you can also delete it. If you want to add any other models to your library, you have to keep the following folder structure in order for things to work, but I will also create a separate YouTube video where in more deep I will explain those things, for example, how you can add extra assets to your library. And speaking of extra assets, if you'd like to support our channel and really, really want to boost your creativity, check out our Chocofor Starter Pack. Chocofor Starter Pack is a special bundle containing 150 best-selling Chocofor Store products, giving you an overall access to the extra 300 plus models at the 90% discounted price. Combine it with our free models and you get a stunning library of over 500 Blender assets, nicely structured and ready to be used with just a single click. 
For those of you who are interested, I'm leaving a link in the video description. And now let's continue and finalize the add-on setup. In Blender, I'm gonna launch the add-on preferences again. And as you can see, here we have something called the default library. When I click on it, I'm able to change the name. And here, this icon allows me to select the actual library path. So let's go to our newly created folder here, select it, and we have to click accept twice. So here we have the structure preview. And once I do it, you can see the same structure is displayed here under the Chocofour model name. So if we change this name, you can see the update is instant here. The current version of Chocofour model manager allows you to add multiple libraries, which will be displayed here, but I'm gonna cover that in a separate video. Before we close this window, let's hit this button here and save the preferences so the library path is saved when we restart Blender. We are now set up and ready to work with both Chocofour Model Manager and the free Chocofour assets. I'm gonna left click on the cube, hold shift, select the camera and now hit X to delete both of those objects. And when I click on one of those arrows, I'm able to expand the main categories. And here when I hit this bar, I'm able to choose a subcategory. So let's say we choose chairs. When I click on the image, I'm here able to select an individual models. So let's select this red chair and let's hit the add asset button. You can now see the chair is imported to the 3D scene and same goes with any other category and subcategory. So let's say we select details, choose flowers and select this plant. You can also add 3D models at the exact locations using the 3D cursor. Let me show you how to do this. Let's select the 3D cursor here and let's left click on the tabletop. You can see the cursor is now aligned to the surface. I can go to the add and settings here on top and select the import location to be at the cursor and not at the scene center. If I now add one of the scene details and click add asset, you can see the birds are added exactly at the tabletop. And that's basically it. Now you know how to install the Chocofour model manager, how to configure the free models library and how to add assets to the 3D scene. In the next video, I'll create a simple practice 3D scene using the free Chocofour assets. So thanks for watching and see you in the next part.